The debate between genetically modified organisms, GMO, and non-GMO foods has been a topic of intense discussion among scientists, consumers, and policymakers for decades. At its core, this debate revolves around the implications of biotechnology in agriculture and its effects on health, the environment, and the economy. To understand what GMO and non-GMO really mean, it's important to explore the science behind genetic modification, the reasons for its use, and the perspectives surrounding its benefits and potential risks. What are GMOs? Genetically modified organisms, GMOs, are organisms whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. This modification involves the manipulation of DNA, allowing scientists to introduce new traits that do not naturally occur in the species. In agriculture, this technology is primarily used to enhance crop characteristics, such as resistance to pests, tolerance to herbicides, improved nutritional content, and increased yield. For example, Bt corn is a type of genetically modified corn that includes a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. This gene allows the corn to produce a protein that is toxic to certain insect pests, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. Another well-known GMO is Roundup Ready soybeans, which have been engineered to withstand glyphosate, a common herbicide. This allows farmers to use the herbicide to control weeds without harming the crop. What are non-GMO foods? Non-GMO foods, on the other hand, are foods that have not been genetically engineered. This means their genetic makeup has not been altered in a laboratory setting. These foods have been grown and bred through traditional agricultural methods, such as selective breeding and crossbreeding, which have been used by farmers for centuries. The non-GMO label has become increasingly popular as consumers demand transparency and natural products. Many people choose non-GMO foods due to concerns about the potential health effects of GMOs, environmental impact, and ethical considerations regarding corporate control of the food supply. Health Considerations One of the main concerns surrounding GMOs is their potential impact on human health. Critics argue that altering the genetic makeup of organisms could have unforeseen effects, including the creation of new allergens or toxins. However, numerous scientific studies and regulatory agencies, such as the World Health Organization WHO, and the Food and Drug Administration FDA, have found that GMOs currently on the market are safe for human consumption and pose no greater risk than their non-GMO counterparts. Despite these assurances, the debate continues. Some consumers prefer non-GMO foods, believing them to be safer or more natural. This preference has driven the growth of the non-GMO food market, with products often carrying a premium price tag due to their perceived benefits. Environmental Impact The environmental impact of GMO versus non-GMO foods is another area of significant discussion. Proponents of GMOs argue that genetically engineered crops can lead to more sustainable agricultural practices. For example, crops that are engineered to be pest-resistant can reduce the need for chemical pesticides, which can be harmful to the environment. Similarly, herbicide-tolerant crops can facilitate no-till farming practices, which help preserve soil health and reduce carbon emissions. Non-GMO foods, especially those that are certified organic, can offer farmers premium market opportunities. The demand for organic and non-GMO products has been growing, driven by consumer preferences for foods perceived as healthier and more environmentally friendly. However, the production of non-GMO and organic foods can be more labor-intensive and costly, potentially limiting accessibility for some consumers. Consumer Choice and Transparency Ultimately, the choice between GMO and non-GMO foods often comes down to individual consumer preferences and values. Transparency and labeling is crucial to enable consumers to make informed decisions about the foods they purchase. Many countries have implemented labeling requirements for GMO foods, allowing consumers to identify and choose products based on their preferences. In conclusion, the debate between GMO and non-GMO foods encompasses a wide range of issues, including health, environmental impact, economics, and ethics. While scientific consensus generally supports the safety and potential benefits of GMOs, consumer concerns and values continue to drive demand for non-GMO alternatives. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. As the global population grows and climate change challenges agricultural systems, both GMO and non-GMO approaches may play important roles in shaping the future of food production. 
The key is to balance innovation with sustainability and respect for consumer choice.